morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Today I wanted to take you on a journey to show you a little bit about digital journaling and using GIMP. And GIMP is the program that I use. It's the image editor program. I use it in Windows. It's free and it helps you to convert, oops, let's get this smaller. It helps you to take a JPEG image like this and make it transparent so you can add images and things to it. And you can see here that if it's just a JPEG, you know, when you go to edit things, you have all this um, color around it and things. But when you convert it like this over here, you can move this around and it's transparent. It can go anywhere on your page. So I was going to um, take the time to show you how to convert JPEG to PNG, JPEG or PDF to PNG, so you can use in your digital journal. So we'll just put a blank page here. And what I did was I wrote some instructions and I will I will attach them as a file. I don't know if you'll be able to follow it and they're not the best, but it's what I use to start. So I pretty much self-taught myself this. GIMP is free. I have the, I'll give you the link where you get it. And what you do is, so here's a blank page of my journal. So I want to um, add some images. So I'm going to go to my file explorer and I'm going to pick the file I want to grab from. So I just want to use um, Graphics Fairy, okay, because I know I have some JPEGs. So here's a lovely image of some birds, okay? What you want to do is grab the image you want right click it and open with GIMP. That's assuming you've already downloaded and installed GIMP, okay? Now it will bring up the editing program. You don't need all this. Okay, so there's the image we just did and it tells you right up here that um, the name of the file and we know it's a JPEG. Okay, so now I want to make this transparent. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit this little wand. It's a fuzzy select tool. And I'm going to hit it someplace on the image and it'll put like little dots all over everything. Okay, you can see it a little bit there in the background. It's kind of hard to see on this one. This one's kind of a busy one. So say we did that. You go up to layer, new. Make sure this is transparency. Hit OK. Then layer, merge down. Then edit, clear. Okay, that took everything away. So we don't want that. Undo. Okay, this is not a good example. So let me um, let me go out of here, discard. Let me pick a different one. Okay, let's pick this one, the butterfly. So it's a JPEG. And it's not so busy in the background. Open with GIMP. Once you start doing this, it'll become a habit. Okay, here's your image. Now down here you can um, make it bigger if you want, but I, I'll keep it at 50%, okay, or maybe 100%. Okay, so you want to use your select, get this little fuzzy tool, and just hit out here someplace. Okay, then layer, new, trans. Make sure that says transparency, okay. Layer, merge down, edit, clear. 
Okay, now it's all got cross hatch. That means that you made this transparent, okay? Let's make it just a little bit bigger. I don't want all these white spots here, so I'm just gonna hit them and clear. Hit it and edit clear. Hit it, edit, clear. Hit it, edit, clear. Okay, that's taken out all these spots. You can also use your delete key on your keyboard. Here's another one. So you're just going to hit it because this is selected. Your fuzzy tool is selected, okay? Hit it, edit, clear. Okay, so everything is the way you want it. I'm not going to take out all these little ones, okay? Then you're going to go up to File, Export As. Now, you, where it says JPEG up there, you want to make it to PNG. PNG. Okay, and it's telling me that it's on my Google Drive, in my folder under Google Drive, under Graphics Ferry, and that's where I want it. If you want to change it to desktop or wherever, you can do that up here. But we're going to leave it here. And I'm going to export it. I don't change any of the settings in here. I just hit export. Now, when I go back to, here's the folder we started with, and now this is the PNG one. So now when we open this one up, you can double click it. You'll see it's all clear, okay? So, when we go to our page, and we want to add some images or backgrounds or whatever, we're going to, um, I'll do Zoto a different time, but I'll just show you today how we did this. So I'm going to go in and go to the file, which was um, Graphics Fairy. And here is the JPEG, so we're going to put that in. Oops, cancel. All right, let's do that again. I gave it too many signals here. Okay, so I want to go and find my file that we just did, Graphics Fairy, and I want to put in... First, I want to do the JPEG. Okay, here's the JPEG. And here is the PNG. Okay, so they look similar, but if you add something else on this page now, let's add this JPEG here. See, this isn't transparent, so it's, it's not going to work. But if you add the one that's transparent, the PNG one, which I made earlier, see now this can... These are transparent, they're interchangeable. See this butterfly, oops, I hit too many buttons. It's not that confusing once you learn it. Okay, so this is the JPEG one, and you can see it just is there. This is a PNG, but when you put it on a JPEG, you know, you see the JPEG. 
But on here, this one is a PNG. So, anything you do, anything you add is going to be transparent. And you can move things around on your page. You can add layers and everything is going to meld beautifully. So here on my, like my samples, this, these are all converted to PNGs. You can add text, you can add things, you can move things around. It doesn't matter. Everything is freestanding and it, you go. But if I were to add something that was a JPEG, you wouldn't be able to do this. So that's what GIMP does. Okay, so here's an, a blank page and we're going to add something. So let's go in um, in here and see. Um, okay, those are PNG. See, most of them I've already converted. JPEG. Okay, here's one. Here's a whole page. So you put this in and this is your JPEG and you could, you know, do what you want with it. And put that down here and then you want to add something to it you want to add these these butterflies this is also a jpeg well when you put them in there they're lost but now watch when you put the png so it was this one which i already made png okay so we'll just put it over here so can see the difference and then we're going to add some butterflies but I don't want the JPEG I want the PNG so now this can go anywhere on there it's transparent both of them are transparent you wouldn't do that because you can't see them but so we'll make that smaller. But now if I added this one, which was the JPEG onto here, see, it's it's lost. It's it's lost in there. It it's not transparent, so we're gonna take that out. So transparent can add go anywhere and look nice. But JPEG can't. See, so it got lost in there. So that's all I wanted to show you with GIMP. Like I said, it's just a quick 101 for GIMP in Windows. I'll send you these, um, I'll send this file link. Uh, play with it. Uh, you can do it in Word if you don't have a journal. You can just open a blank page in Word and do the same thing, um, insert picture from file, and um, we want to go to Google Drive. Okay, where is that? Okay, so I want to put in, um, we use the same one so you can see, here's a JPEG. I make it a little smaller. And then we'll insert picture from file and we'll do the PNG one. Normally after I make something um, into PNG, I just, I just leave it. Okay, so there's the difference. You see this one's transparent. This doesn't have, it doesn't have all the background. And so then on here, if you wanted again to insert a picture I know um, ladies at Digital Journal write it in Word and they just print it and make a book or whatever, but I like using the digital books and we'll talk more about that next time. So here's um, the PNG butterfly. And if I were to put it on here, it's, it's lost. But if I put that same file on here, insert picture, from file and use the PNG one. 
and put it down in here. See, nothing's lost, okay? Well, I shouldn't say that. It is on here because of, it's got this border on here because of the, the way it's set up in here. But it works. You can put, the, you can put PNG on anything. So we'll take that off. We'll take that off. But I just wanted you to see the difference. So this has got all the background, the clutter, and this is transparent. So that's what PNG is. That's what GIMP will do for you. I will be happy to send that uh, little printout of instructions to you if you'd like it. And just give me your feedback. If that's not something you're interested in, I don't need to pursue this. If it is, I'd be happy to, to review this and um, do one showing uh how we use um, our digital books. Okay? So have a blessed, beautiful day. Bye.